guys, this is Wei. Welcome to Sophie's Christmas Holiday Series. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys different hairstyles perfect for the holiday season. If you want to know how, then please keep on watching. The first hairstyle I'll be teaching you guys is to do your Christmas curls. Now, if you are a beginner, do not worry. I used to struggle as well back then, but a little bit of YouTube and practice, I was able to kind of master how to properly curl my hair, you know, simply. So let's begin. The first step is, of course, to find your parting, with whichever parting suits your face. Normally, I would do it in the middle, like this one. As you part your hair as well, you can put them into two sections. So this is gonna be there. Now that we have our hair parted, we can work per section. I'll start first with the left part of my face. Now we can take at least an inch of your hair so that we can start curling. To properly frame your face, you should curl away from your face. Now, I used to struggle a lot in how to properly hold a you know, curling iron or a barrel. Normally people would do it like this, but that's kind of difficult. So for it to be easier, you can just hold the barrel downwards so you can start curling. So again, away from your face. It needs to be flat, you know, on the curling iron. You have to wait at least 15 seconds for it to, you know, curl up. You can also touch your hair if it's hot already and that's how you know that it's curled and you slowly brush it all down if your hair is stubborn and doesn't hold up a curl you can always spin it up your hair but if you're kind of in a hurry which is me 24 7 you can just wait for like five to ten minutes for it to cool not five to ten seconds not minutes. Now that we have our first curl, we can grab another section and then just curl it away from your face. Again, wait for five to 10 seconds or 15 depending on you and you could also touch it like what I mentioned earlier to see if it's hot already. For you to not get burned you can like wear a glove when doing this but since I've been doing this for a while after 10 burns I'm now like good to go. I'm 
All right, so now that we have our left side curl, do not touch anything. So just put that at the back and then grab the other portion and then start curling. So like what I mentioned, if you want to frame your face, you can or you should curl it away from your face. Now, since we are already in the right side, we have to curl away. So this is kind of different with how we curl the other one. You can just put this like here. Be careful not to hit your face because you know Bella is expensive. And then you can curl like that. Again, 10 to 15 seconds for it to be curled and you can touch it as well. If you have like long nails like mine, it comes in handy <laughs> to kind of check the temperature. Now that we have our left and right part curled, this is the finished part. No, I'm just kidding. We can now like comb our fingers through the hair. And there you 
go. So this is our first time. So you can't put hairspray on it. I'm gonna put like a little bit. This is from Hair Fix. Just a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna be doing other styles as well. And there you go. Now our next hairstyle is a low back ponytail or a low ponytail, whatever you want to call it. So now that the hair is curled, we can work with this hair. So now you can either do like uh, a left parting or right parting or in the middle. Since I am comfortable in the middle, I'll just be doing that. So what you need to do is just to find a comb and then slowly brush this part to the back of your ear like this. Other side. Now that we have that, we can just grab all of our hair and we do a low ponytail. So the good thing about having it curled, even if you're just doing a ponytail, is that it'll give your ponytail some dimension, is what hairstylists like to call it. I'm not a professional hairstylist, don't roast me in the comments. This is just me, you know, learning from YouTube. Now that we have things like that, so this is how your hair is gonna look like from the back with all the curls. And now we'll be adding some accessories. Also, for you to not get frizzy, or for you to remove the frizz on your hair, you can either do a, a hairspray or just like a cuticle coat. This is from Vigorous. Not sponsored, but you know, we'll accept emails. <laughs> and then just rub on your hands and just like like this. And now we can add our hair piece. So you can just like put it that way and then you tie it from the back. For it to be secure, you can always like pin it down, but I don't have any, so that will do. And that's our next hairstyle. down to our last hairstyle which is kind of like a more the funky fun side so I'm gonna have this one removed as well as this one all right so our next hairstyle is I'm not sure if you have seen Miss Intercontinental Cindy Faye Albanera during her homecoming look I think and then she had like this very cute updo so that's what we'll try to do today so the first thing you need to do is it's really preferable to have your hair parted in the middle because you need to take two parts like this one I'm gonna take this one not really long part but just enough to frame your face as well as the other side Now that we have these two hairs Is it the same side? Yeah, it's I'm just gonna take this one so it's slimmer, yeah, here Now that we have that, we have to like kind of brush this up So that's this side Because we're gonna do a high ponytail For it to be like, you know, useful and fun, 17, you can use like things like these. So as soon as you make it sure that it's secured, 
doesn't have to be perfect because you know it's part of the messy part. But now we can tie it. And the good thing about having your wand handy, let me just turn it on. You can recurl this part to make it way more perfect. I'm so cute with this hair. Char. <laughs> Feller. All right, so we'll try to recurl the front pieces so it's way more pronounced. For all the messy hairs and, you know, sticking out, you can just grab your hairspray and then spray that on your brush. Soak it real good. So you can just like do this. And this is our high ponytail with some bit of fun. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad features. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. Have it guys, those are our three hairstyles you can use for your next holiday event. Make sure to like this video, comment down below which one's your favorite, and of course, share this to everyone. Make sure to like all of our social media pages. Once again, this has been Sway, and always remember to Sway and Slay. Bye!